We are honoring Black History Month and the impact that food has had on the culture. Local 5's Eric Richards explored both Seoul and Caribbean food in Appleton, where it's more than just a business for the owners. You can't talk about black history and not talk about the food. At the Cozy Corner in Appleton, they have food for your body and your soul. Philip Bennett is the owner of the Cozy Corner. We've owned Cozy Corner for about three years now. Mm -hmm. What made you get into this business? Um, my, just my passion for food. I like to cook, and I was friends with the old owners. We were really good friends, and um, they brought the opportunity to us. What do people come here and they're just dying to get? Our chicken. Okay. We, we, we've won plenty of awards for our uh, chicken. We won the award for the best comfort food in the Fox Valley. But the chicken is the main thing people come for. And, you know, obviously this, this restaurant has been here long before you, you know, got here, which means that it's got legacy and it's important to the community. How important is it? Um, it's real important. During the pandemic, the community really supported us. Tell us what we got on this big plate right now. Um, right now we have a king's platter. Mm -hmm. The king's platter has all three meats. It has a smoked sausage, the rib, pulled pork, catfish, and our chicken. And for our sides, we have uh, collard greens, red beans and rice, macaroni. There's a lot that goes into the food here because like you were telling me you know you put your seasoning in there you put your own your own spin on this food right yes, yes right for the chicken we we have something special we do to the chicken um i season all the food myself now the moment i've been yes. waiting for the sampling that's really good Miss Brown's Fine Foods is also in Appleton, giving customers a taste of the Caribbean. Phil Brown is the owner, and his mother, Jean Brown, is in the kitchen. When you think about stuff to put on the menu, yeah. you're obviously pulling from home, right? Yeah, a little bit. Um, we also want to be very conscious of, you know, what our demographic is. So um, we want things on the menu that um, people specifically in this area will be like, oh, I'll try that. So we just want to grow up to be kind and I try to pass that on too to my kids, mm -hmm. you know, just because for me, love sees no color. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I try to appreciate people no matter where they're from. <laughs> you know what I mm -hmm. mean? All yeah. walks of life. And that's the best part right there. Yes, it's the chicken, it's curry chicken. It's got um, potatoes in there. It's got carrots in there. Mm -hmm. And then a whole bunch of mama love in there. Mm -hmm. And typically we like to put some of the curry curry sauce on the rice so yeah. you're not eating just dry rice. Yeah. Give it a little flavor and then top it with some cabbage and it's good to enjoy. Mm -hmm. In Appleton, Eric Richards, Local 5 News. And Eric tells us both restaurants say they look forward to growing and expanding within the next couple of years. You can hear more stories of local business owners and volunteers during our Honoring Black History Month special. Join Local 5's Barrett Tryon and Faith Alford on February 18th at 630 here on Local 5.